Welcome to the Maxmo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. In this video, we'll continue our discussions of Maxmo KPIs by demonstrating the KPI Manager application. So let's head over to Maxmo. Okay, so here I am in the Maxmo Application Suite in Maxmo Manage. I'm signed in as a user who has access to multiple start centers, but will focus on his role as an operations manager. As we highlighted earlier, we're looking at this particular KPI, which is missing data KPIs, no failure data. And I can see some additional information from the description. It's emergency work that doesn't have failure data. But as I'm analyzing this, I wanna know why it doesn't have failure data. Is it because the technician didn't input the value or is it because the asset didn't have a failure code associated with it? And that's the use case we're focusing on. So let me head over here back to the KPI manager application. And as I bring up my records, I could search for that value, but I happen to know what my KPI template information is. So these three KPIs were created from the single KPI template in our previous demonstration. But I wanna give my user more information, more data. So I'm gonna open up this one and I've added that it's my KPIs with priority one assets. A couple of key things to highlight. I can see my read-only template here, and that's also auto-associated to the KPI ID. That's the template and the individual value. Coming down below, notice here my KPI SQL that now displays has the priority value of one. This was my variable in the KPI template application, so I've defined it. I can see my targeted value, some other critical information, including the is active and public. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But one of the most important things that we wanna highlight you can do with a KPI manager application is communicate to the user, define what this KPI is and why it's important to the organization. How do we do that? We use the long description. So I have some information that I've copied over here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that my text is visible. So uh, I'm gonna make that medium text here and let's take a look. So I'm telling my user that to look at this KPI, it's the number of act active assets, excuse me, in Bedford with no failure codes. I've defined exactly what my KPI is. Let's clean that up a little bit. It's my asset status is active, operating, or broken. This is my SQL defined in English terms for all end users. My failure code is not listed or it's a null value. My asset priority, because remember I'm having multiple variables here of KPI, it's one. Why is this important? I give him information on why it's so critical that that failure code has to be in there. And then lastly, I tell them some goals, right? For 2022, the organization goal is this value should be no more than 25 priority one assets. And for 2023, we want that value at zero. So I'm gonna click okay. And now you can see that my long description is available for this particular KPI. One of the huge key features of KPI Manager. Another thing that I wanna do is not every individual needs access to this KPI. So my is public flag is disabled, but I wanna come in here and define who should make sure that this KPI is a critical point, I would say, of their, um, their, their work, right? We wanna make sure these people are doing this. So maybe we have, I don't know, um, do I have a maintenance supervisor? He might be interested in, in on this because he doesn't want his guys being blamed for not inputting failure codes when there is no failure code to input. Maybe I have an operations manager who might be interested in this. Let me see if I have a reliability engineer. Do I have someone like that? I don't have that. Do I have an asset manager? Um, I, I don't think I want my IT asset manager. Let's just use these two individuals for now. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to grab the, this guy here. So I've got a couple of key security groups that this KPI is really important and should display on their start center. So again, 
when I look back here on my KPI, make sure you got that long description, make sure you set the security. And the other thing that you want to make sure is that you set a schedule for this. When should this KPI be executed? So I always like to have it executed on the first day of the month. Why is that important? If I have this enabled, then I can always make sure that when it's run, that value is collected in the Maximo database so I can use it for my analysis or my trend or performance. Um, you know, is it Im improving over time? Is it degrading? All that great information is collected. So this is a core Maximo KPI manager. Make sure you get that information here. Define what that KPI is in the description, the long description, set the security, make that schedule available so you can enable all your end users to view and analyze that information. Thank you very much.